Hello everyone, uh, welcome to another tutorial of uh, Ecostruct and this tutorial is going to cover up the extension system that I've been working on. Um, you can open it up by going to Ecostruct, Ecostruct Manager and then into the Open Extensions Manager. So in this version currently I have two extensions I've been working on. There's probably going to be more in your, in your version but this is the ones I've been working on as of now. Uh, we have in here Foot and Bolt and um, Inventory Pro. So what I'm going to cover up in this video is how you can go ahead and create your own integrations into the system. Um, so I'm going to show in this video how you can basically recreate the Inventory Pro integration and by that you're probably going to learn how to create your own integration. So let's start this off by deleting the Inventory Pro script. Then compile and then we're going to create a new one which is going to be basically the same thing and then the res and then result. So start by creating a new script. Let's call this one inventory pro uc integration. Um, this is just a temporary name. You can make it a name you want of your own asset, but this is the one I'm going to use for um, this specific one. Um, give it a second. Some unnecessary stuff. Um, so clean up this class in here and make sure you ha you add this statement. Um, if you construct preset. So the reason we have this statement there is because um, basically if you have the asset in a different um, package that isn't in you construct and you import the package without having you construct in the project what's going to happen is that it's going to try to access uh, class classes that are not even they're not available which is going to return errors. Um, so this you construct preset is a define that make that basically um, states that you construct this in the project. Um, so let's go ahead and add also the namespace of construct.extensions. Now please note this is not a must. Um, you can also instead of it, instead of doing that you can go ahead and use the uh, construct.extensions. It's really um, what you prefer but I prefer to put it here because um, this e extension is a part of uconstruct. But if in your case it's not, then you might want to leave it in your own namespace. Let's go ahead and generate from extension. And basically creating extensions is very, very easy. Um, there's nothing really complex about it, but let's go ahead and uh, get started. So override the string asset name. Oops, one sec. Asset name and return in here. Inventory pro. Alright, next up is going to be the override string asset description. Now I'm going to take the description from the asset store page that I have opened up. There you go. There you go. Um, and I'm going to add spaces in here to make it look much nicer. So I'm going to do the same spaces you have in the asset store page. And here. Right, and now I'm gonna go to the next one, which is gonna be asset store documentation name. Um, this is basically gonna be the name of the documentation file you have in the project. Uh, in our case, it's located in integrations folder in here, and because my 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 file is a PDF file, I have to add the PDF format at the end. So .pdf. There you go. Next up is going to be oops, string um, logo name, which is just the, logo, the name of the logo. You don't have to have to add the uh, format in here, but in the documentation you must edit, or it will return an error. Um, oops, what am I doing? Yep. So go ahead and copy the name of it. And next up is going to be the asset namespace. So basically what that namespace means, this is basically going to be the namespace it's going to add or remove when you activate or deactivate the, the, um, the extension. Um, for our case, when I use the one I used in the inventory pro script, <coughs> this is the one, oops, <coughs> sorry. And now the next one is going to be the publisher name. Actually, let's go to the assist store address. Uh, it's going to be the link to the asset store page. I have uh, 
inventory pro open up so I'm gonna go ahead and paste it and then next up and the last one is going to be the publisher name all right so wait for it to compile and we can open up the construct manager and see how it looks let's open the construct manager up open the extensions manager and as you can see it looks pretty much the same um, what I'm going to show you how to do next is how to add extend, uh, helper tools so helper tools are basically buttons that allows you to do some kind of functions through the extension so let's go ahead and create here a new method create game object on scene for example and what this button is going to do is let's create a new game object test go now you might not, not understand what I'm doing here but I'm going to show you in a second it's all going to be clear in one second there you go let's go over to the extensions manager one more time and now we're going to have in here a tool button when the inventory pro is disabled so for example if I disable it see it's going to be uh, removed it's going to be it's going to disappear but when I turn it back on it's going to come back um, it's going to be shining down in a second, one sec, there you go, get it up. Um, so if you click on the button, as you see it creates a new geo. So you can basically do anything you want in here, if it's you know adding the same inventory, in inventory script to the selected uh, player or something like that, it's really, you can do anything you want in it. Um, but yeah, what I'm going to show you next is what's going to happen when you have two different assets in one publisher. Um, so for this instance, I'm going to use one of the new uh, Dev Dog developed assets, which is the um, LOS Pro. I'm not going to integrate it the same way I did for the, with the Inventory Pro. I'm going to do a much shorter process just to get it, just to get it, uh, just to show you, show how it will look. So LOS, you see integration. And the first load. And again, we could even, if you want, go ahead and copy this in here. Um, it doesn't really matter. We could do it again, it doesn't matter at all. Um, close it and end if. Messy, one sec. There you go. Um, and the same thing. But we're, gonna, we're not going to do all the logo again and stuff like that. We're just going to do two uh, basic things. So, click override string. I'll just give it a second to load the class sec hopefully it's loaded now there you go so string asset name it's gonna be los pro description i'm gonna copy this again from there um and do spaces from there And this one is going to be the publisher. Again, I'm not going to do everything, just basic, basic things again. Publisher name is going to be um, DevDog. Now make sure to make to make it uh, this, the exact same way it's in Inventory Pro because if not, it's going to make a completely different um, publisher. So now let's go ahead and open up the extensions manager. Wait for it to compile. And we're going to see in here Lost Pro, LOS Pro, and also Inventory Pro. There's no way a logo in here, so it looks like that. But yeah, it all works fine. As you can see, uh, button still works. Everything works properly. Uh, if you have any questions or requests um, that I can add into the extension system, um, don't be afraid to, to suggest. Um, I'm probably going to make a bit more adjustments uh, to how it's going to look in your version, but the same mechanics should stay. So it should still be um, relative to your vision. So I hope you enjoyed the video and you understood what I did there. Uh, if not, just tell me and I'll, make, I'll try to make another video. Um, so yeah, have a great day.